Alrighty guys, that's us right here. Welcome back to what'll be yet another Mech Warrior 5 career start. <clears throat> and be trying to get another one off the ground. It's just that, you know, last time I tried to do a new start, uh, we got like a Wyvern as our starting media mech, and uh, not the best mech to be starting out with. To be had to have your only media mech, so things didn't go so well. So we'll be trying again. Gonna be using the advanced career start mod and all that stuff. Also, Coyote has a new mission type for us to check out, which is reverse beachhead. Well, it's actually called beachhead defense, but it's pretty much a reverse beachhead where it's like a it's like the vanilla beachhead. The setup's the same, but you're the on the defending side this time. Yeah, so uh, and that's what we'll be doing today. And as much as I do like playing on my Void Reaver save and streaming it, it's just I've gotten so stupid powerful on my Void Reaver save that uh, not very good for balance testing. And I mean, to be honest, my streams aren't very good for balance testing anyway because I'm modding it all to hell <laughs> and I don't play vanilla. Kind of like with uh, Coyote's Combat Leopards. It's uh, kind of hard to judge their their firepower when I hit it once with a Hag 20 and it goes careening off into the fucking horizon. Oof. Phone's not getting enough signal to watch the stream. Bit of a noof, but thanks for stopping by nonetheless, Crazy Eyes, but... Yeah, Coyote's combat leopards are a little, uh, a little loopy, I suppose. But apparently something is being done about that. But, uh... Yeah, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, new career mode it up here. We are going to be starting... I wonder if we just start in the, uh, just start in the Dark Age and say, screw it. To our good old Razzle Hugh start. Number of starting mix. Let's we do a bit more. We're gonna do the commander. I'm gonna see what a, a bit more means. Hopefully it doesn't make the game, the starting, too stupid easy. Because technically if you choose the Kestrel Lancer start, you start with like a bunch of them. But we'll see. We can skip that, we've already seen that. Alrighty. Do the classic last restore company name, first run detected. We'll go balanced. I'll just not pay upkeep for cold storage. I'll just stick with three parts being required as well. Apply all of that and let's see what starting mix we get. 
Oh, we just start with a straight up quick draw. I was not expecting to start with a straight up quick draw. Um, <laughs> so that's what a bit more means. We start with a heavy, a medium, and then two lights. A dasher? Really? Huh. It's over tonnage, though. Um... Uh. We're starting with a straight up clan mech. Oh, really? Shit. Thought I bought two of them. the sea bills to go around refitting all these mechs that drastically I guess um yeah it I'll just re-roll it I guess
dasher again, crap. Can I just not get a fucking dasher, please? Whoops. Can I just not get a fucking dasher? Like, come on, man. So what do you got? Let's take out that single uh, small laser. Hmm. A uh, the Kata with the Ultra Auto Cannon Five. Interesting. And then a really f fucked up uh, fire starter. Hang on. I don't have any AMS ammo. Unless I buy some off the market. I don't have any AMS, AMS ammo apparently. thing too. If I max armor,
There. Alrighty, we got that all set up. There's one of those uh, beachhead defense contracts. But uh, we should probably head up here. I think we might end up, we could end up going against Razzle Hugh in the long run. Obviously, we're going to try to stay their friends for a bit, but. Like, I know for a fact the only faction we're going to piss off a whole lot is Lao, right? We're going to piss off Lao completely because we're going to pick up Coyote and then they're going to be like minus five million fucking relationship points. So that's going to be fun to deal with. Alrighty. Alright, we may end up going against Lao in the long run. I think I, I think I think the biggest mistake I did when I tried the last career run start that I didn't pay attention to to, to the allowed tonnage. I think we need to uh definitely start in just the bare bones, low difficulty area for now. Do some missions for Razzle Hugh. Because we're, we start with plus one uh, relation with them. No idea what the blink lasers do. I've never used blink lasers before. I normally stayed away from blink lasers because they don't have any stats. God damn it, let me see the weapon groups if I would pick the right goddamn key. Honestly, I'll just take that out and max the armor again. Alright, we have a resource mission there. I don't think we're quite ready for a resource mission. It's going to be quite intense if you get unlucky with the R in... RN of the G. And we can do this rescue contract to start us off. And then maybe that defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start with the defense for now.
Let's start uh start actually making some money here. Did I forget to start with the commander? I did. Oops. Hope the enemy puts up a good fight. I have some tests to run. is on the ground, Commander. Ready for action. Time to die. Time to kick ass. I mean, I think... I think I might run the fire starter. You have decent defense skill. You can run that thing. You run the dash or you run the crab. Alrighty. Let's actually get some missions done. Get some boots on the ground here. We have been contracted to relieve Allied forces at Nav Point Alpha. Move in and establish a perimeter around the checkpoint. Remember, I don't have all my OP pirate mechs and clan tech. Looks like we found the place, Commander. IFF transponder codes received and confirmed. Welcome to Outpost Charlie. Nothing on scopes at the moment, but don't get comfortable. Hostiles have been reported in the area. Target acquired. Enemy spotted. Target mm -hmm. destroyed. Target acquired. <sighs> so used to having mask on all my mechs. Just throw a pirate mask on a mech and go fast. Target acquired. My scope is lighting up with more targets converging on your position, Commander. Stay frosty. Target acquired. is pulling in more hostiles from the surrounding area. Target Damn it, destroyed. I got caught in that tank explosion. That wasn't great. Target acquired. Alright, what's that? A wasp. Wasp, Spoodle Wasp. Spoodle with a single light PPC, that's an interesting way of going about that. Target acquired. Eyes up. Enemy forces closing in. Fuel at 25%. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. New target, spider. Target down. Additional hostiles have been dispatched. They're heading your way. Target 
No, oh, that crit explosion is gonna damage a bit of the base. They're gonna have to rip. New target, assassin. Ooh, assassin. Assassin's greed. At least it's not a pirate assassin. Alright, y'all gang up on him. I, fr I need to I need to remember I don't have my uh, cheesy royal jump jets. I can't just jump for days. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Wait, where'd he go? There he is. Enemy battle mech eliminated. Alrighty. First mission in the bag. Fucking Dasher worry, looks so Commander. goddamn derpy. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Who, who birthed you into existence, you dumb fucking little thing? Like, what the heck? Ugh. 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 Excuse me if I'm not sounding too enthusiastic today. I'm a little tired, and my throat's kind of sore because it's smoky outside today. BC's on fire, and we're getting the fucking aftermath of it. Uh, I'll take a, I'll take a couple of those assassin perks. Why not? Assassins are pretty neat, nifty little medium mechs. A little bit on the less armored side, but not horrible. Look at that, the crab and the uh the dasher didn't even get it wounded there. We can also line up that uh whoopsies. That rescue as well. I don't want to piss off I want to try to not piss off as many of the uh great houses as possible. The Razzlehug Republic doesn't actually send assassins after you. Or they don't send, you know, reinforcements after you either. So, at least for the early game, they'll be our primary source of missions, because we'll have the most uh, negotiation points with them. But in the late game, once we get ourselves established and all that stuff, we can, uh, we can maybe use the Razzle Hugh for, uh, maybe like pirate rep or something. Now I do want to see if we can get the, uh, save the base actually because we can get, we could use all the extra loot we can get our hands on so yeah now that we're starting a new run things like uh, resource missions and uh, Anything with an optional objective for us to see if we can get some extra loot out of it will definitely be a little bit beneficial for us. That base looks like one of the okay bases. I don't know. It's not the farming. It's not the uh, farming installation or the uh, flimsy uh, paper mache indoor mech lab. So. Yeah, it's kind of funny. They had that indoor mech lab base that was added with the, I believe it was the Call to Arms DLC. Where they added, like, that big indoor base you can actually, like, walk into and fight in. And it was really cool. Except it was, like, almost impossible to damage. He's going home in a shoebox. There it is. <laughs> And, but, uh, yeah, they they updated the, uh, I don't know who updated it, but I don't know who or when. I don't know if it was a mod that updated it or, uh, 
if PGI updated it, so now, like, you sneeze at it the wrong way and it fucking crumbles. Which I don't know how I feel about that, you know, because when the update, when the DLC first came out, it was, like, nigh impossible to damage that facility. Which made it cool to fight indoors in. But it was also really annoying if it was the target of, like, a demolition contract or something. You'd, like, need to have one or two artillery strikes to even do any damage to it. But now that the update came out, it's like you can fucking, you can take nine, you can take, like, you know, ten, ten percent off with a single autocannon hit. Doesn't even need to be like a big auto cannon. I think like an auto cannon five or higher will like just rip straight chunks off of it. So if you have something like an AC twenty or a PPC or something, it just I've got a new contact. Just like it doesn't even matter. Thunder here. One less enemy. I'm waiting for the uh Oh uh, yeah, there they are, the uh, enemy lance to spawn in on the uh, rear of the map. Because I think once like the convoy gets like, I don't know, like 25-50% of the way to the base, I feel like it's when uh, the threshold for uh, the enemy lance spawning. <laughs> Weird little turretless tank. I ended up installing scary tanks too, because I was kind of getting bored of all the vanilla tanks dying in like one hit so I thought I'd pick up scary tanks although I'll probably regret it once we get like a tank horde or something on a patrol mission to like swarm of uh, heavy tanks on a patrol mission or something and then you know I'd, that'd, be, that'd be, be filled with regret but as long as that doesn't happen too early in the career run because once we get a little bit established we'd definitely be able to handle the uh handle it like once we get a little bit of money in the bank and some decent weapons target destroyed target we'll be able to handle it so as long as it doesn't happen like our like third or fourth mission <laughs> we should be okay thunder here enemy mech destroyed uh, it looks like the base is not going to make it which is a shame although we may be able to scrape by with like 10% remaining because it doesn't matter uh, how high or how low the base is when the mission ends. Just as long as there are a percentage remaining. I'm pretty sure I've finished rescue missions with uh, like less than 5% remaining. <laughs> it's still counted as uh, salvaging the ar armory. I, don't know, I wonder if Kayo can make it so if you have like 50% or more of the base remaining you have you get more more stuff and if you get 50% and if you get under 50% then you get less stuff might be something he can look into because I know uh, in like because like if you look at like the vanilla defense missions they have the uh, Secondary objective acquired. oh you have a bit of a uh, I value target on the field. Oh shit! I just realized my rear torso just opened. Oh god. Anyway, as I was saying, like vanilla missions have that have that like threshold. Uh, I don't I don't know if it's worth going halfway across the map for it though. And it's probably going to be like a mini mech, like a Shadowhawk or something. I don't know if that's going to be worth it. That is worth it, though, is running over here and see if we, see if we can save the last 30% 30, 30 of the space. Check out that wolfhound. Uh, yes, the every mech, the Clint. I just do not want that Clint in my rear torso, though. Here, 
here comes the uh, the union. God damn it! The allies are unionizing. Yeah. We have to give them proper benefits and and healthcare now. Like what the fuck? Target destroyed. I said take that thing out. Dang it! It would be kind of cool if we could salvage it though. So maybe go for the knees. Take his knees. Take his knees. I don't think that was taking his knees. Oh. Well. Mongoose. Destroyed. Damn it, I killed you, damn it. Knock it off with your ECM. Oh no, never mind. I think that's I think that's causing the ECM. Oh boy, pirate Jenner. Imagine getting a pirate mech second Oh god! Eek. Getting a pirate mech second uh second mission. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Everything has ECM. What the fuck? I know I started in the dark ages, but give me a break. Gotta be a little bit careful here. Both my uh, center and rear torsos are open now. New target, Phoenix Hawk. Target acquired. Aim got here. Heavy incoming my way, sir. Target destroyed. Damn it, you just lost a uh, clan laser. That's bad. This is thunder. I'm getting pretty battered. Ejecting! Are you serious? Oh no, the that was the cicada. Oh shit. Ah. Good. I shut him down with the flamers. That was ugly. Pilot recovery mission. A couple of high tier lasers, though, so that'd be nice. Only grab one wolfhound part. Hey, what's up, Risky? Actually, it's good evening for me. <laughs> Ooh, X 
XL engine destroyed, actually. Hang on. Shit. I did not want to repair all crap. I don't think we'll be able to do that. Actually, I don't even have to repair the fucking... I don't have to repair the engine. If I don't want to, there it is. Okay, well, all the weapons here got destroyed, so... Uh, let's... Guess I'll just toss in a couple of those. A couple of decently tiered lasers, I guess. Hmm. Time zones are a weird thing. Yeah, time zones are a weird thing. What time is it for you, anyway? I can finally drive after you're procrastinating on that. Yeah, I'm... I'm learning to drive, but, uh... I only got my learners, though. Weather means your visibility will be limited out there and have adverse effects on your sensors. Time to earn my pay. Order 30 p.m. Yeah, it's just about 5 30 p.m. I don't know why, but I consider anything past 5 p.m. evening. Well, maybe I should be the one in the uh, cicada, just because it's a little bit more on the weaker side. Cicada is definitely going to be the first thing we're replacing, though. It's just too lightly armored, unfortunately. We have to help the remaining Allied forces, Commander. They're on their last stand. Let's get to the forward operating base. Especially in like the fall or summer months when it starts it like getting dark command. around five. Friendly mechs in view. It's our mercenary Lance. We're grateful that you made it. Now fan out and take defensive positions. Prepare for incoming hostiles. Target acquired. Target acquired. Your resistance is pulling in more hostiles from the surrounding area. Enemy forces closing in fast. Yeah, right now it starts getting dark around 7 and 7 to 8. But in like a couple of weeks it's going to start getting dark by like 5. Scratch him. I need a new target. What's that medium? It's a Clint. Target acquired. We 
detail with the PPC. Interesting. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. But yeah, it's... Other than that, it's definitely been a while, Risky. Long time no sees and all that. He's a flea! I don't know, I'm still getting the uh, the hang of it a little bit, I guess. It's still a little nerve-wracking getting behind the wheel. At least for me. Target acquired. Skeet shooting here. Eek. How quickly will you come apart? Do we just go for the feedies here? Take his knees. Yeah. I'm starting university in a couple days though, so my free time is going to go down a bit. The fuck? I just looked at him and he blew up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, because it's like what I'm doing, it's like... I'm kind of just driving around the neighborhood a little bit, not going on any major roads. Just to like, get used to it all and all that. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. the hidden object to pick it up. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Uh, I think all like uh find, like standard Begin elementary now. and uh and high school started the first, but my university classes don't start till the seventh. So I had like an extra week to get ready. So these are the last three enemies, so I don't have to worry about any spawning in behind us. Okay, let me just tell you guys to just go buck wild after that uh, Clint. I'll go after the vehicle since I'm the lighter, lightest mech here. Ah! There he is, he's stuck in the scrap metal. Poor guy. Now. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Our employers will be pleased that we have held our ground and saved this facility. Good work, Commander. Alrighty. Is 
got the Spider-Man game on Steam recently, been playing that a lot. Yeah, I'm not really interested in Marvel or DC or anything like that, so I don't really, uh... I don't really bother with anything like that. <clears throat> I'll probably just get the two Clint parts. An 8v8 duel we can do, and then a battleground. news, Commander. Extreme weather conditions means you'll be dealing with limited visibility and compromised sensors this on this under. mission. Time to kick ass. Damn, dude. Only one. Oh, good. Decreased heat management and energy proficiency by two. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Looks like we're going to an industrial hub. After this to get him some training. All I can say about the weather recently is that it's been hot. Weather equals hot. I don't know what Fahrenheit is. Can you say that in maple syrup units? Yesterday it was like 34 Celsius plus. over there. Time to earn my pay. Target. Team got here. Enemy mech destroyed. Sometimes it's 15.5 and then sometimes it's 35. Yikes. Yeah, in the evening it gets to like... It gets pretty low. Or I guess at night it gets pretty low and then... Ah! In the morning it gets like... Super warm. Yeah, like I said yesterday it was like 34, 35. Uh, Celsius, and then, uh, yeah, it ain't great. My man over there has a rack. Copy, we're on it, sir. He's got the rack.
And it's also smoky outside today, too. Because British Columbia is burning right now, so all of the uh, wildfire smoke is, like, rising up and over the Rocky Mountains and then, like, settling in Alberta. And it ain't great. Target destroyed. Okay, who the fuck is the last mech? That's you. Yeah, working out, yeah, because it's like, I work retail, right? So it's like working outside in the heat is not great. I'll take an SRM2 clan. It's a tiny BBC, what were you expecting? I think, I think we can go and do that uh, battleground contract, and then uh, we might have to get the uh, get the missions reset. Uh, to Clint to assassin birds. Right, let's do this battleground here. Great, so this guy just sucks now, huh? Might as well just hire a new pilot at that, right?
Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems now. Onward. Forcer, Centurion, Blackjack, Hunchback, Firestarter, Commando. Nice. I want to get that Storm Raider just to see what it's like. It's got ranks. It's got the rack attack. Uh, heading out risky. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Late PPCs. Target acquired. Well, thanks for dropping by, fam. Jesus. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Can a field goal here? Eh. <laughs> Goddamn trees. Target destroyed. Target acquired.
Target acquired. Target destroyed. New target, Spider. Target destroyed. Target acquired. That an Irby? That is an Irby. Yeah. You know what they say, if you can dodge an auto cannon shot, you can dodge a ball. No, I did not dodge the auto cannon shot. Okay, there's still a couple mechs left. Another Herbie, another Clint, and then another Storm Raider. Oh no, my CT! God damn it! Uh. Altering attack range. Don't know why I didn't go to this thing before, but oh well. System offline. You guys kill that thing over there? Oh yeah, you guys did. You're no longer on attack order, so... Alrighty, we out of here. Scratch him. I need a new target. much as I wanted to get a uh, a new mech there. Alright, let's try out this. I know it's against the pirates and I want to have like uh, I want to have you know, pirate rep. I do want to play this mission just because, you know, it's the new mission type. It's a beachhead defense thingy. There now, now at least the now I'm not cheating here and running with a broken XL engine. <laughs> and we do have this AP8 do as well we can do, but we'll do this one first. Beachhead defense, nice, nice uh, playful logo there. I'm sure that's just a placeholder though. Alrighty. 
I think I may need to mess with the stuff here because I'm pretty sure that's a little much for salvagers. I mean, yeah, I, well, hazard pay is zero though. What? Why is there always hazard pay on these? Weird. <laughs> like constantly getting hazard pay when there's no hazard pay and there's no like hazard here. So I, th I think that's a bit of a, a bit of a goof there. I'm gonna give you the cicada this time because you have relatively decent defense skill. Alright, beachhead defense. It's like the vanilla beachhead, but we're on the defending side. Let's do this. Yeah, there's two satellite uplinks, there's the primary objective, and there's a bit of artillery. You have an Aero 5 direct fire urban mech. Oh god, stay far away from him. Um, and a... And a Phoenix Hawk on our side. I like artillery on the field. And apparently AI that are directly attacking the uh, the satellite uplinks will be marked with like an assassination logo. Like that little skull symbol that we see on like assassination missions and stuff. That's why I call it the assassination logo because it what a, it's the symbol that shows up on assassination targets, and then we have a pirate battle armor. Or we under that away. Thunder here, I have a target. Thunder here, I've got a new contact. Target acquired. to the treasure to pick it up. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Target destroyed. This is Payne God. Scratch him. I need a new target. Brilliant. Payload acquired. Yeah, and the main reason why I wanted to start a new run is so I could, like, test the, uh, the early game balance of the new mission type. Because like I said, even if I go to low difficulty areas on my Void Reaper save, I have a bunch of pirate mechs and clan equipment on that save. I don't think that's a very good representation of what a new career run or a new player would face. So... That's, that's the main reason why I started in a new run. The second reason why I started in a new run is... It's because I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to see the early game again, right? Like, I got the clan invasion. The clan invasion's been updated a lot. You know, things have been added and all that stuff. But I wanted to, you know, maybe uh, have an opportunity to discover new mechs. You know, go, go for some different mechs, right? Like, I got all the go-to stuff on my Void Reaver save, you know. Maybe try to branch out a little bit, get some new mechs and stuff. You guys can go over that thing. Stop him from taking out the art, uh, radar installation. Target acquired. Oh, don't artillery strike the goddamn thing.
destroyed. Target acquired. Not a problem, sir. Fuel at 25%. Fuel oh! At 0%. Goddamn stupid inner sphere default jump jets. What do you mean I can't jump for like 300 meters? <laughs> at a time. You know what? Just burn a bitch. Fuck them. Oh, hello. You are all after this thing, aren't you? He's going home in a shoebox. He's going home in a shoebox. That fucking line. <laughs> I've always considered the the uh, pilot overhaul pilots to be kind of mad, but that one voice line does get that that does kind of get to me. He's going home in a shoebox. <laughs> We're gonna have to bury you in a soup can. What are we gonna? Are y'all threatening my goddamn base here? Be gone, thought. How's that relay doing? That relay okay? I mean, the turns are damaged at all, so I think that relay's alright. Okay, what the fuck exploded there? God damn it. Target eliminated. Target destroyed. Yeah, no, that satellite dish got absolutely gang banged by VTOLs. That's a shame. Target destroyed. So we only have the one left. Um, I don't know what happens if one of them gets to, if they both get destroyed though. I never had that happen to me. At least I don't think I have. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Okay, these guys are just coming for the base. Uh, both of the satellite uplinks were destroyed. I guess we'll find out what the fuck happens, I guess. Um... Oh! They send a straight up leopard! That what's uh, getting that? Hmm. They, uh, hmm. Ah, uh, eh. Why? I'm not playing my Void Reaver save! I don't have a hate! 40 goss, I can't... Pluck you away like a goddamn fly, god damn it. Oh dear, this is gonna be interesting. I mean, you're still probably gonna die pretty easily, though. Like, I'd hate to break it to you, my man. Um. Oh boy. Off. Oh, there goes the fucking arrow V, Irby. Ow. We gotta worry about her. Target 
Oh god, oh god, my armor's coming apart. My armor's coming apart. Oh no, I already lost a flamer. God damn it. Can we please kill this thing? There it goes. There it goes, alrighty. is supposed to go, damn it. Target acquired. My god, all of my weapons are gone. What the fuck? Got one medium laser and two flamers left. What the fuck am I going to do with this? Uh, excuse me, sir. Get off our building, please. That's a blackjack. That's an almost dead blackjack, though. There we go. That assassin dead yet? Oh, well, now he is. <laughs> That's another Clint. There was another Clint somewhere. <laughs> For a second, I thought the proto battle arm was just splayed out, but no, he's just hiding in the wreckage of the fucking spider. Okay, seriously, where'd he go?
destroyed. Oh, I guess we don't have to kill the VTOLs. I thought we would have to. Head down here. We have mechs to create here. Which one do we want? Take this one.
assassination for the pirates we can go do, as well as a patrol in a scorched earth. Technically, only have three battle ready max here. Uh... Oh, shit. Still have a uh, leftover tonnage there. Throw in another single heat sink, I suppose. Let's go and do this assassination mission. I'll uh, just go with money on this one. Yeah, I'll just go with money on this one. Uh, the Clint's done in 13 days, and the fire starter's done in 5. So you know what? I'll take the Clint. And instead of the Dasher, you can take the fire starter. Ah, that's over tonnage. Seriously, that is two? Damn. Guess we're just going with this then. Um, Okay, there we go, that could work. I do think all systems nominal. I do think I'm gonna want a. Uh... Oh Jesus! Put them down. Our targets have given our employer nothing but problems. We have been hired as a solution. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you once the job is done. Well, that was a nice hello. Got here. Target destroyed. Yeah, I think I'm gonna want a light mech to replace the dasher at some point now, though. Dasher is definitely the leakest link. Link. Wink.
objective acquired. Aim got here. It's gone. I need a new target. Target acquired. Positive identification on primary. Negative identification on secondaries. Watch your six. Target destroyed. It's a blackjack. Destroyed. New target blackjack. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Where are you going? This is thunder. It's rubble. from the targets. Looks like we got them all. We fulfilled our contract, Commander. Let's get you out of here now. Target destroyed. Can it an enemy leopard? New target, Javelin. Target acquired. Destroyed. Target acquired. Hey, got here. Scratch him. I need a new target. Definitely not the best at aiming this thing. Unfamiliar. Nice. Maybe I try picking up a, uh, kind of a blackjack for shits and giggles. Let's go up into this patrol mission. Before we go up on this mission, I'm going to take a quick break, though. Getting a little thirsty here, so I'm going to go and uh, grab something to drink, so I will be right back.
and have returned with a drink. Do have a secondary nav point, as well as a, uh, a light lancer friendly over there. Okay, it looks like it's surviving command max. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Whoa! Oh, it's fucking VTOLs with straight up Gauss rifles. That's thanks. I hate it. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. New target Panther. Start scanning their uh, nap point. How quickly will you come apart? Uh, you gonna do the thing? There we go. Three million C bills. Nice. Target acquired. We have some allied arty as well. Bijak Mongoose Panther. Eight hostiles. destroyed. Um, oh, there it is. 
Acquired. Alrighty. There's still a chance for another ambush to happen here, but. I mean, I know it's tier zero, but a Goss rifle is a Goss rifle, my guy. <laughs> if only the VTOLs came with ammo. Yeah, and then we got the three mil from the optional nap points. So that was a nice boost to our uh, to our funding there. Another beachhead defense we can go on. Kirby, Assassin, and a Blackjack. And we only have one artillery installation to defend as well. That one might Target fall, acquired. though, I'll be honest. I'm not too sure the longevity of that one since it's so far away.
thing hasn't been damaged yet. That's good. Target destroyed. This thing's, uh, well, they're just AMS carrier, so. New target, spider. Time to earn my pay. Oh. Explosive, that's a shame. Good. Our ammunitions can be restocked. Just saw an auto cannon shot whiz by me. Target acquired. That's a missile platform. Uh, explain where the auto cannon came from. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Already taken care of. Are you? Are you the source of the auto cannon shot? You might be. AC five. Looks like one of the satellite dishes were already destroyed, so... He's going home in a shoebox. Target acquired. Target down. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. I'd rather not fight another fucking leopard, so... Man, those satellite uplinks are fucking flimsy, aren't they? And now we have a big scary dropship over there. I'm 
I'm gonna let the uh, allies take care of the dropship a little bit. Okay, I just ran into him. Destroy. Target acquired. You like die already, man? Ah, oh, Jesus up, Christ! There goes the da dasher. Power behind the building. Power behind the building. <laughs> The crab, the crab, no. In my weapon arc. Oh, god damn it. Right for us. All mech 
warriors. Mission abort. <sighs> well. Fuck. Slippers are more annoying to take out when I don't have uh, pirate mechs and clan weapons, huh? I mean, I don't have the capabilities of extracting you, I'm sorry. Well, it's a good thing we found the uh, three million sea bills at that optional nav point on the patrol mission because uh, I'm gonna need every cent of it to uh, replace all our mechs now. I'm not even going to bother replacing the Dasher. The Dasher's just getting sold. Hell, the Crab might end up getting sold now, too. This is Burnout. Ready, and ready, Commander. Time to earn my pay. This is Thunder. Ready and ready, Commander. Now they join the company, Commander. Commander. Now let's kick them right in the gondola. I don't think I have an engine core to replace that. It's 250. It's an engine 250. I think the crab's gonna have to go as well. That fucking sucks. Um. Damn. Huh. Now we're in a bit of a bind, dear. Well, we're not really in a bit of a bind. Because I sold the mech, the two mechs that were trashed. Because I didn't want to spend, like, the million sea bills it would take to, uh... To, uh... Buy a new engine and all that stuff. That is four million sea bills for an AC-20, damn.
Since this is energy proficiency, I'm kind of tempted to, uh... To just take the Ultra Auto Cannon out. Take the Ultra Auto Cannon out and put in... do that well, I don't really need armor on you I'm also just need uh armor on the legs. And on the center torso, and I guess a bit on the head, but mm. Well, I can't put, what to say, I can't put clan double heat sinks in there. I'm pretty sure I can. Look at that, I can. And there you go. I have a lot of cooling so I can keep firing the energy weapons. Then just scrap the, uh, scrap that. And I wonder if I just put the Ultra AC Cannon in this thing instead. Obviously I have to wait for the Cicada to be refit, but... That's 8 tons though, that's 1 ton more than the, uh... Standard AC-5. Mm. Also, you are missing a thing of... AC-5 ammo. Should probably fix that, there you go. We are in an industrial, so might as well make any fixes that we want to now. Scorched Earth we can do, as long as there's no uh, <clears throat> active enemy artillery over there. Well, over tonnage by 
ten, but we'll have to deal with it. We have no other mechs lighter than this. Our target is an industrial complex marked on your tactical display. Our employer wants it gone, and we aim to please. Light that complex up like a New Year's celebration, Commander. Identified. Bring it down. Leave nothing left for them to salvage. Mercenary scum! Target destroyed. Ah, no will send you, but you want in a box. Target destroyed. Target. Today's not your day. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Ah, uh, did not know that that was uh, explosive so sorry, piping. I'm Wasn't sure even red piping. What the, the fuck, man? Facility. I'm showing heavy damage to a number of the facility structures. We appear to be about halfway Come on, what was it that even? Dumb goddamn fuel tanker. Just a wee bit more, Commander. This complex is on the verge of collapse. You did it, Commander. This whole place has been flattened. Now, let's get out of here before more trouble arrives. Head to the evac zone. Target is down. Destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Let's get you out of there, Commander. Stand by. Ooh, that is the melee specializer, uh, melee hunchback, though.
Alrighty. I want to continue doing the beachhead defenses, but I'm scared of those damn leopards now. The nasty weather means your visibility will be limited out there and have adverse effects on your senses. This has two energy weapons on this thing. I don't see the second energy weapon anymore. It's a light PPC and an SRM2. Weird. Right, we have four artillery installations this time. Nice. We have a Phoenix Hawk and a Shadow Hawk. Honestly, I'm just tempted to leave my Lance Mates here. Or like maybe like two Lance Mates at this one and then bring the other two over there and just say fuck the base. Like I'll leave the uh, the assassin. The assassin here. Well, I guess that's the Clint, but then the assassin can, like, go on this side, and then me and the fire starter go defend the other satellite uplink. Because I don't want to find another damn leopard. Target acquired. This is Burnout. I think I've got a new contact. And then if one of them fall, I just relocate all of my assets to the other one. Target Hopefully, destroyed. in enough time to defend them both. The targeted asset. Move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Skull unit engaging mercenary forces. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Package acquired. Yeah, it looks like they have an Owens over there attacking that one. Time to die. Okay, they got it. They Time got it. Good. He's going home in a shoebox. The, the the Owens is going home in a shoebox. We good. We Gucci. Yeah, I am leaving the defense of a uh, a high value or a high uh, a key area, high value area to the uh, to the AI, but it's okay. We're fine. We also have a panther down there, but we have a panther panther who's probably going to go after the one here. Maybe I'll leave the fire starter here and go to the other side of the my mountain. See which way he's going by chance.
I just left the fire starter over there just in case that panther was going to uh, go in his direction, but it looks like the friendly battle armors kept him distracted enough. Oh, oopsies. Really hit the cap ski there. Okay, we have a decent amount of, we have a couple enemies at the base here. Me, I might take the fire starter over to deal with them. I don't see anybody coming after our satellite uplink here. Maybe I'll just leave you there for now and I will personally go and help the friendlies at the base. Because obviously the base is still the primary objective that we're defending here. It's just that the uh, the allies that spawn with us are obvious, obviously have a little bit more freedom on where they go and who they attack. So as long as stay they stay near the base, they should be okay. But I will. I thought I told you to stay at the other base, at the other satellite uplink, dingus. Okay, well, it looks like we lost the satellite uplink closest to the base, so... Because this dumbass didn't fucking stay there like I told him to. And a bunch of VTOLs got to it. Guess we'll, uh, mark these guys and then head back to the other side Target acquired. might deal with these VTOLs just so they don't uh, Target destroyed. threaten the secondary satellite uplink then I might just have all three of my allies stay at the other uplink and then I'll uh, I'll kind of stay at the stay at the main base I'll protect the main base Oh god, they got fucking VTOLs going to the secondary one. Uh-oh. Y'all better be able to take care of all that. Oh, come on, guys. God, this AI is so bad. Hey, I so fucking bad. Can't even take care of a few VTOLs. God damn it. Uh, I might just abort this mission. To be honest, we don't have the firepower to take out a fucking leopard. I don't think. Unless everybody focuses fire on it, then maybe, but as soon as somebody loses a component, I'm aborting. I'm too close, I can't get 
shot on it. Here comes the fr here comes the battle armors. Wait, what? Why do you have weapons missing? Oh, dropping bombs. That's interesting. That's what that uh. That's what that punching sound effect is, I guess. He's just dropping bombs. That's nice, I guess. That's great. That's cool. That's Gucci. We have an enemy cicada on our six here. Oh, be careful, fucking fire starter. Don't get bombed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Oh, that poor battle armor. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it Little up. busy, Rihanna. My CT, no. <sighs> Hi, Coyote. How you doing? <laughs> oh my God, these fucking leopards are really annoying to take down when I don't have my pirate mechs and clan weapons. Because here I am thinking that, oh, I wonder what happens if the satellite uplinks go down in, uh, in beachhead, in, in beachhead defense, and it turns out one of these fuckers spawn. I did lose a previous mission to this. A leopard spawn nuked two of my mechs, and then I aborted. So... Especially since you're going to be upping the health of these guys in the future update. <laughs> Might not be a great idea here. <laughs> At least I'm thinking like maybe like 25 difficulty plus. Or maybe even 50 plus. I don't know. Oh, the fucking bombs! I don't like being right under it. Oh my god, it's just spinning around like a Beyblade at this rate. I'm thinking like 25, like maybe 25, but probably 50 plus is where I think they'd uh, fit into. But because it, it's like we don't really have the capabilities of destroying one of these things at this low difficulty. I have shitty pilot, shitty mechs, and shitty weapons. And it's not even in the red yet. And it's not. Yeah, 
here I was talking shit on my Void Reavers run, and then here I am. I said as soon as we lose a component to this thing, uh... Yeah, the explanation is Combat Leopard. <laughs> That's the explanation. It's Combat Leopard. I... Ugh. Ah, damn it. I got, like, two... Like, I got, like, three pip medium lasers from a, from a rescue earlier, and I put them on that cicada. And then what happened? And it's in the standard torso too. And what happens? The cicada almost get cored, and I lose one of the lasers. Ingy. Ingy. I mean, I like the leopards. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I like the combat leopards. I like the idea of it. I don't think it's too far off. What what you already have. Alright, because if you were doing strictly mission stuff, like only mission stuff, nothing else, missions only, then you wouldn't have added the assassins, right? You wouldn't have added the assassins, you'd only be adding mission types. So, I think the combat leopards aren't too far off from the whole missions only thing, but other than that, I think the mission's pretty good. The only thing I'd say is shorten the time between enemy waves. Because I was playing on my Void Reaver save earlier today before I started streaming and started this new career run. I, uh, I, found, to be, I found it to be a little bit too much downtime between enemy waves and higher difficulties. Because you're just killing it fast so fast, right? Well, in the late game, when you got, like, assault mechs and shit, and especially people running, uh... Especially people running yet another mech lab and clan invasion, they have access to all this high-powered OP stuff that they're just killing it... Killing the stuff too fast. I don't know if you can shorten the time for higher difficulties and keep the time where it's at for, like, lower difficulties, but... That's just what I've noticed. I know, I'm complaining a mission is actually too easy. Isn't that fucking weird, huh? Isn't that? Yeah, that was a bit of an oof. Um, I'm gonna go back to the industrial hub. <laughs> It's either lower... Yeah, well, most people are whiny bitches when it comes to, like, they, they just, they just, what, they just expect to curb stomp every mission in MechWarrior 5, you know? It's just the people who expect to just win all the time who, uh, who, who bitch about it. I used to be like that. I used to be like that. I used to be one of those people, but I started. I I I've been behaving myself a little bit better. Honestly, the only thing I complained so far is that the stupid AI. Because I tried to split my forces and have like two people at one satellite relay, two people at the other satellite relay. A squad of VTOLs attacked the second relay after the first relay got destroyed by a squad of VTOLs. And then the second, then like they, my fucking lance mates didn't do jack shit against the second uh, thing of VTOLs. So, like I was actually trying to use tactics and the AI failed me. Alright. And I don't have anybody to play co-op with, so it's like, Gah. And then, then, then the leopard spawned, and then that whole spiel fucking started. And yeah, and that's the only thing I really complained about. Uh, uh this stream so far. Um. Eh. Maybe add a third satellite relay? Maybe instead of shortening the time between waves, me I'm a little bit on the fence about that one. 
right? Because adding a third relay will obviously make it easier. Well, it will make it easier and make it harder at the same time because it makes it easier because you have more satellite relays up before the leopard spawns, but it makes it harder because you have to split up more in order to cover all the additional relays. Right? <clears throat> Like, I'm actually seriously trying to think about this because I want to give you proper feedback, right? And, you know, I've only played, like, two, three, four beachhead defenses, right? I played a couple on my uh, on my Void Reaver save before starting this stream. All right, so that's, like, all higher difficulty uh, uh, beachhead defenses. And now I'm playing, now I've played, like, I think this is my second. It's either my second or my third on... Uh, on a new save, on a fresh save, so lower difficulty uh, beachheads. But yeah, I definitely think instead of a combat leopard spawning in early difficulties, maybe have like a couple of extra ally or enemies. Yeah, definitely get rid of the combat leopards on like, you know, difficulty be 50 below. Maybe 25 below, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, maybe have like, at 50 below, instead of a combat leopard, have a transport leopard or a vanilla leopard just spawn enemies at or nearby somewhere within the general vicinity of the main base. <laughs> right, because it's like, because when... During a standard beachhead mission, when you destroy the relay enemy satellite dishes, friendly spawn in the general vicinity of the enemy main garrison somewhere. Ish. <laughs> so in 50 below, you can have just additional enemies spawn around the general vicinity of the friendly garrison. I don't have a face cam, so you can't see my elaborate hand gestures. <laughs> and then in 50 above when people are rocking mostly you know they they have like some decent equipment you know they got mediums they got some heavies they got some hopefully you know tier three and uh, tier, tier three weapons right they, they they have a better chance they, they don't just have dinky rookie pilots and shitty mechs being held together by bubblegum and prayers to work with. It's kind of what I got. <laughs> the only thing that's keeping me afloat right now is 3 million sea bills I picked up from a patrol optional nav point and selling a scrapped dasher and scrapped crab that I didn't have the engine cores or the funds to replace. <laughs> Oh, motherfucker. Okay, no, it's just... It's just the laser got that, that got destroyed. And that's kind of why I restarted, right? Because it's like, you know... My Void Reaver save is fun and all, because that's where I got all the fancy pirate and clan stuff. But I definitely was missing the early game kind of tug of war you're playing with uh, w with your sea bills and your mechs, right? You know, right? Like the combat leopards are interesting and all, but you still need to be able to kill it to advance. And if you can't kill it to advance, and every beachhead defense is pretty much forfeit if you fail to defend the satellite uplinks then that kind of gets old after a while i want it to be difficult but i still want to be able to have a slight chance of actually beating the mission so yeah just just some slight balancing suggestions there just uh <laughs> You know, hopefully you get the idea, right? I'm not trying to shit all over it. I'm just trying to think. 
and I'm trying to be serious about this because normally I'm just kind of happy-go-lucky fucking whatever with it, right? I'm either complaining the whole stream or laughing the whole stream when I play MechWarrior 5. So <laughs> I'm trying to give at least some serious feedback here. Do I want to do this resource mission? I know it's there. I, kn I know it's there, game. You don't have to keep rubbing my nose in it. Alright. I know it's there. But, first of all, I don't want to tank my reputation with the pirates, so that's why I don't typically do these. Secondly, I have a bunch of shitty pilots. I don't, I don't, don't think I have the capabilities of doing that, actually. You know, I, I'm pretty much forced piloting the cicada because the AI will just like treat it like a fucking paper mache, th uh, the walking paper mache thing. Gonna go fix some of the mission. I ain't. What's my rep like with the pirates anyway? It's recognized. You know what? I could use the resources. Fuck it. Oh no, I did not mean to accept that other one. Hang on, let me reload there. I did not want to accept that other mission. I wanted it to close, but I hit accept accidentally. Hang on. Lowe's, there we go. Exploration resource mission. Also, Coyote, I don't know if you're still lurking or not, but for some reason I have like plus a hundred percent negotiation leverage in like all beachhead defense missions. I can get like two million sea bills and thirty plus salvage shares. Off of like two negotiation points. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, just uh, just pointing that out there. I just wanted to point that up that out too. That was the one you posted earlier, lol. Oh god. Commander, salvage ops lead. Recon reported some high value goodies that require our uh, attention. Flight is keeping the Leopard ready to go, and TAC Ops is keeping their weapons hot. I've marked the locations on your nav map, but our scans are not 100%, so feel free to look around. Tag anything of value you see. I'm gonna leave the assassin and the Clint on guard duty, and then me and the fire starter are gonna go, uh, gonna go searching.
some reason my uh some reason Betty's gone quiet on me. What the heck? A singular double heat sink. The career is saved, ladies and gentlemen. That's some high value shit right there. Twenty heat sinks. confirmed. Tack ops inbound. I'm stuck. It's a melee Phoenix Hawk. Uh, don't slap me, please. Come on, get him. Oh no, where is he? Shit, 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 he jumped. It's just artillery at least, but that's still not great. Oh my god, would this thing die? Jeez. Out of first per first person, for some reason the first person camera in uh, in the cicada is like really jank. Salvage ops here. Position secure and scan complete. Teams are on the way. Where's the last one at? Oh, okay. So it's still on this side of the. Uh, some of this, damn it.
This is Thunder. Incoming. And then as soon as I finish the scan here, I'm going to swap to uh, one of the other mechs and then we'll get out of here. That's like the only time I use mech swapping. Let's not bother fighting that stuff. Though, though. You have an attack and defend for the uh for the pirates. It's a dual base attack and defend. I have a pirate battle armor and a wyvern. And an enforcer and a mongoose. Alright, we got one base super close for, to us and one base kind of far from us. And we have allied artillery apparently. I'm going to take the allies and go against the uh, the base that's furthest from us. And then 
After that base is destroyed, I'll come back, probably repair my cicada. And then we'll probably just take everybody and go nuke the other one. My Betty's quiet still, damn it. Why the fuck is she so quiet? After this mission, I might reload to fix the audio levels. Oh boy, where are those guys going? They're attacking our base, so let's fall back actually and help deal with these things. an ECM man. Ow. Oh, it's a UAC ten. Well, apparently it was an XL build. I'm actually going to go fall back and uh, repair now. Alright, all the pirates are dead. I guess the uh, Allied artillery ran out of ammo already. Nope, nope, never mind. Never mind. They're still shooting. I guess they're just, you know, on break. You know, they're union allocated smoke break and all. They're...
understand that beetle's flying kind of high. I miss stepping on him, dang it. Looks like the allies are going after the other base. Um, that was unintentional, but okay. This is Thunder. Incoming. Fucking little pirate mechs or pirate battle armors. Thankfully, lower difficulty attack and defense don't have the uh, super strong turrets. Yeah, that's this base toast. I'm gonna head back for another repair and then we'll probably just take everybody down to the uh the final base.
Okay, now the allied artillery is out of ammo. Alrighty. Oop. Oh dear. Let's go ahead and just take the boys down. Downtown. Yeah, I got a little bit of structure damage in one of my arms, but those are just tiny little shields anyway. There's nothing special in those. Excuse me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Skadoodle, skadoodle, like our dick is a noodle, and get out of here. This is Burnout. That took care of him. I'll only take the one. You know, if that micro PPC is uh, somewhere around here, I'll take that. Just thinking of putting it in uh, the Clint, but we do not have it available here, so I will. I don't know, take an SRM2 and, uh, and an M laser, I guess. Alright, I'm going to repair all, and then, like I said, I would. I'll, uh. Make a quick save here, and then reload to, uh. Fix the quiet voices, hopefully, and then, uh, I'll, uh. I'll probably also go take a quick break as well. Go take a. take a piss and all that stuff, so I will be back!
Alrighty, I'm back. I set the game to relaunch before I ran off, so uh, we're already back in the game. Hopefully the sound is fixed. And uh, I think we're going to head back down to... I'm down there a little bit. can go ahead and uh, either oh god all right glad to join the company commander now let's kick them right in the gondola <laughs> let's do some training on you I'll take some training on Thunder you. Here. Burnout here. Glad to join the My company, Commander. My top skills are at your disposal, Commander. Hey, twenty. <clears throat> That's like a lot of fucking money, though. Uh, do they have any micro PPCs, though? What? What? Son of a bitch, I'm in. Kind of tempted to throw that on the clint just to see what it's like. It's ten tons though. Oh, maybe not. Mm -mm. Maybe I'll give it to the assassin. Okay, I'm just gonna strip this though, just to like get rid of that uh, weirdness. Alrighty, um, sure, let's give you that. Do have a clan SRM2 we can give you instead. You only use like two rounds of shots, so whatever. Double heat sink kit and a double heat sink in there. Unfortunately, we can't put any additional cooling in there, so maybe not.
fuck it, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it just, just for shits and giggles, man. I gotta try it at least, you know? If it doesn't work, then I'll put, like, the, uh, I'll kind of turn it back into what it was, but for now I gotta try it at least. Yeah, it's just another resource mission. Honestly, I'm gonna get this out of here, but I'm gonna, like... I'm just like immediately sell it and uh get this rid of Thunder. uh Thunder here. Glad to join the company, Commander. Let's I'm gonna just get rid of Goblin. Because like I don't want that fucking thing to be in here, but I also don't want to use them because technically we're not supposed to have them. So yeah. Whatever. Uh Beachhead defense and a patrol. Ah, training, really? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna use that, you can use that. And I'm gonna wait the four days. Fucking rotary medium laser. I have a new strat here. Alright, I'm gonna let... Okay, they both have somewhat very distance from the, uh... from the base, but... I can have a rack laser. I have a rotary auto laser. I have a room... I have a room instead of a rack. <laughs> I'm gonna have all three allies guard one, and I'll just say fuck it, and I'll guard the other one by myself. You guys will guard that one. I'll go over here and I'll guard this one. Target acquired. <clears throat> Laser go burnt. Target destroyed. Wasn't kidding when it had an intense heat build up.
Yeah, and then if one of these goes down, I'll just bum rush it to the other one. Hopefully it's just this one that goes, because I'm the only one guarding it with, like, a few turrets, so... We'll see what happens. Oi. I did run over something explosive though, so that's a shame. New target panther. Hopefully I'll get that panther. <laughs> Take this. Nice. This is burnout. Enemy mech destroyed. Two of the artillery installations are already gone though, but oh well. That just uh okay, I think that was just somebody attacking the uh attacking the last artillery installation. I kind of want to go help the allies a little bit. Fuck okay, it, I'm gonna help the allies a little bit. <laughs> Just a wee bit. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. You out of here. I thought I saw a couple vehicles back here on the radar. Cruising through these uh, little tunneled areas here. Aha, uh -huh, there's one. Target acquired. Target destroyed. That was weird. Why was I only getting? Because I was I sitting in water. No, oh, it was because Target I was sitting in water. That's why I was getting like super cooled. like, whoa, where'd all my heat go? Yeah, it's because I'm standing in water, dumbass. Apparently we're playing Battletech rules where even if my big toe is in there, it, uh, still counts. Oh god, that fucking battle armor just hit the ground. Okay, that's still not taking damage, so I might... 
go back. Oh shit, somebody is attacking it actually. Hang on. No shit. Alright. Damn, that is super flimsy, man. I'm reporting a new sensor track. God, I don't have any time to turn around. Even a medium act that goes 100 plus, I should have enough time to at least, you know, react. But damn. I need to bum rush to the, uh, need to bum rush to the other satellite now. Really not in the position to fight another goddamn leopard. I saw at least two marked enemies back here. Okay, that one's untouched. That's good. Did they get killed? Where are they? <clears throat> okay, they're back here. Fleas are pretty fast and he has machine guns, so he'll tear down that relay pretty quick if I don't get him. They do look like they're kind of stuck back here, but we need to kill them to progress anyway, so... I'll run back here, see if I can find them. Oh, oh my god, they're all the way back there. No idea where that flea is. Ow. Got to mean oh, like ghost. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Okay, looks like oh, there's the flea. Missile. Hopefully they're able to take him out. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Right, I have the mongoose with me, or is that a piranha? Yeah, no, that's a piranha. Today's not your day. This is burnout. That took care of him. I think they got the flea. I think the flea made a bum rush for the satellite dish. Try to take off that side torso. I don't feel like getting, uh, getting light gossed. Base is being captured, though.
No, oh, no, there's the flea. Hmm. Is the flea going after the base, I guess? Hmm. Ooh, that's a lot of them at the base, though. I don't want to take them off that satellite, though. That last satellite is the only thing keeping us from uh, having to abort. Because if we get another leopard spawn, we probably won't be able to take it out. Rotary medium laser or not. Oh shit, my head. Oh god, my head armor's gone. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh shit! Target acquired. Target destroyed. He turned around on me pretty quickly. Warning incoming missile target acquired. Heat level critical. Ammo explosion. Uh... So stupid. Games my advance zone. And I don't have jump jets either. Even done yet.
what's even left? Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target Alrighty. Man, that was still a nasty mission, though. I guess I did take an assassin as my solo mech. Probably wasn't the best idea, but still. Ugh. Not great, not great at all. Yeah, that's going to cost way too much to repair, I think. You have to go back to yet another industrial hub.
I'll swap that back to a, uh... To an SRM-6, then. Ninety-two days. Brad and ready, Commander. What about you down, Commander? My Five combat tracks. skills are meant to impress. What about you down, Commander? Fuck you, Discord. Yeah, I noticed you went offline again. Went offline again. It's like, oh, Nightmare must have uh, lost connection to his Discord again. A riggedy rip. Warzone, Warzone, Patrol. Can do all three of these. It's online in my task force, but it didn't give me any notification. Hmm. Time to die. I just want all of you to know I've got your backs. 43 days. I started a new career run, and uh, Coyote has a new mission and all that fun stuff, so... <clears throat> Attention! Prepare for Battle Mech departure. Reactor mm -hmm. online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. It looks like friendlies are already engaged with hostile forces. Their survival is not our priority, but there's always safety in numbers in a combat zone. We should do what we can to help them out. Yeah, this They're ghost's been acting pretty whack for you, I guess. The they stay in the fight. 25% fuel at 0% And the game's a lot harder when I don't have all- Ow! When I don't have all my fancy, uh... Clan weapons and stuff. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. Free to message me on Steam. I don't know about that. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to post the message in my own Discord server when I'm when I am and not when I am and am not streaming. So I don't know if I'll remember to do that. <laughs> I started a new career run and I used the advanced career start to actually start 
in the Dark Age uh, era instead of just the clan invasion era. And the Dark Age is like after the initial clan invasion, right after the initial clan invasion is somewhat defeated and the clans are kind of like mingling in the inner spear now. They like have a foothold in the inner spear, but the primary invasion is over. And it's now just the clans fighting for control inside the inner sphere, and they're done like actively invading, and they're just infighting now. So, a lot of client tech is already in, and all that stuff. Uh. So apologies if my uh, my voice is not as enthusiastic as previous. My uh, my throat's a little sore and fucked up from all of the uh, the smoke going around today. It ain't great. Oh my god, my CT's already open. Come on, man. Ugh. Next medium mech I get, I'm replacing the, uh, Enemy mech the Atlas with. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Well, I'm also using the scary tanks mod, which uh, beefs them up a little bit. Enemy reinforcements are spotted in the area. They look like they're heading your way. Uh, there's. Wildfires going on in British Columbia, so the uh, the smoke is kind of rising and floating over the Rocky Mountains and then settling on the other side in Alberta, so. I don't have any underlying, like, lung conditions or something. It's just breathing that in all day at work, kind of both today and yesterday because the smoke was around yesterday so breathing that in for uh, a couple days in a row kind of fucked with my throat a little bit target destroyed target acquired Besides, if you think the light PPC is awkward, just wait till you see the light PP or the micro PPC on the Clint. No, I didn't want to get hit by that stupid crit explosion. Fuck. Yeah, because now that my center torso is open, somebody can get a crit on my engine and I'm just fucking dead. Target destroyed. Tar Reactor failure detected. Look out. Destroyed. If Sutton gets a lucky crit on my engine, I'm just fucking dead. The micro PPC was made for the uh, the the pirate elemental, that uh, like little like infantry juggernaut suit that's pretending to be a mech. Because <laughs> in order to have any weapons on it, they the weapons need to be like less than a ton in order to fit anything on there. So the clan in, it's from the clan invasion mod, and it's pretty much just like a. A tiny little pop cap PPC for the uh, 
elementals, but I ended up throwing it on the coins. <laughs> Because uh, we don't have any elementals, because elementals are kind of death traps for a, for a mercenary unit. The Beagle Active Pro was damaged, but at least it wasn't fully destroyed. Assassin looks like it's growing a tree out of its head. There it is. Alright, well, I'm not gonna pilot that anymore. I'm gonna give that to the AI. Be careful out there. The cicada isn't that much better, but I like the weapon loadout on the cicada better than the assassin, so that's what we'll be dealing with. Whoopsies. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Yeet. Allied forces are attempting to withdraw from this area and need us to screen their retreat. We're to link up with the remaining friendlies screening the retreat and hold the enemy forces as long as possible. We have an opportunity for a hefty combat bonus the longer we can hold the enemies back. Only problem with this thing, it doesn't have any weapons on the arm, so it kind of has an issue hitting VTOL sometimes. Recon reports additional forces entering the engagement area, Commander. Be on the lookout for them. Destroyed. Target acquired. Watch out! That mech is going critical! 
Target acquired. Looks like you've got their attention. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. A little Target fucking destroyed. thing. Target acquired. Target is down. Target destroyed. Target acquired. That medium mech, though. If you can keep a cannon on the weak side, then laser two machine guns. 68C tank. And just wait till we use... Just wait till we run into the new, uh... I have a new contact. The new, uh... The weapon carriers added by scary tanks. AC-20 burst fire on a fucking carrier platform. So the same thing that can carry 60 LRMs can uh, carry an AC-20 burst fire. Target destroyed. Target acquired. And then we just have that thing. <laughs> And then we just have like a fucking a hover tank with a or a hovercraft with a single medium laser and a fucking Scopes are lighting up with additional bogus, Commander. and a fucking AMS and then we have shit like this doesn't even have an actual can uh turret spot. I mean, he's fast as fuck though. I mean, he's fast. Target destroyed. Oh shit, Data King with the fucking raid. 32, damn. Damn, hang on. Fuck. Oh, I fucked up my own command. Hold up. Ah! Oh no. No! Oh no, I'm sorry. I was gonna give you a shout out with a link to your channel, but I fucked up as a do, not not so. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Ah, thank you very much, Data King. How was the Stompy Robots, my guy? Did you uh? Did you check out the uh, coyote's new mission? Oh, poor guy, stuck upside down. Oh. I bring mech heads for more stompy stompy raid. Tank hair, Tarno. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your guys' names. Welcome in. Make sure my chat is scrolling properly after that. Horrible bumblefuck of a shout out command. Got to 
finish another one of Cat's Beachhead's defense skip mission. Yeah, the only problem is, is when you have a bunch of shitty mech pilots and a bunch of shitty weapons against a fucking leopard. Those leopards are a little bit more dangerous to take out when you don't have pirate mechs and clan weapons to, uh, <laughs> just like flick it like a little flea, a little tick. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Yeah, Coyote said he might remove the leopard from lower difficulties and turn it into like a uh, uh, an enemy uh, an enemy lance. I like difficulty 50 below instead of spawning an attack leopard. It just spawns in a uh, a transport leopard, drops in a lance of mechs, and then leaves. And then 50 plus, it's just the uh, it's just the combat leopard. Yeah, that I've fought two of them, and I had to abort from both. Alright, the first time, I kind of just played sloppily on the first uh, beachhead defense I did, and it kind of, oh, and then the two satellite dishes went down, and then the leopard spawned, and we got our asses handed to us. The second time, I tried to... I tried to do some tactics, right? I left two mechs at one satellite, and I had two mechs at the other satellite. And then a, two squads of VTOLs attacked both of them at the same time. Took mine out pretty easily. I went to rush over to help the other one, and the AIs weren't even shooting at the fucking VTOLs. They were shooting at a random mech that just so happened to walk into their view before the VTOL showed up and then that went down and then the fucking leopard spawned and then I had to abort again and then it's like, ah, the stupid AI, I don't have anybody to co-op with. Part of that's my fault because I kind of have a little bit of trust issues when it comes to playing with people I haven't known for a while because there's this one guy called Green, he... Well, it started to get all like power hungry and back CD on my channel. He uh, he almost drove me to quit Twitch, so I just gave him one too many second chances, and it was just horrible for my mental health. And that's when and then and then, and then I have trust issues because of that. So it's more my fault. That's kind of more my fault than anybody else's because I let him do that to me, but. Yeah, I'm <laughs> with Coyote working on his mod almost 24/7. He doesn't have time to uh, to play anymore, unfortunately. Cause Ky I used to co-op with Coyote a lot back back in a d back in the uh, day before uh, back in the day. I say, even though it was only a couple of years ago. <laughs> A guy in an OP fire star. I just need the experimental beta fire back and like 12 legendary e legendary flamers and just run around toasting everything from 500 plus meters away. Oh no, not 8 flamers. How about 14 legendary flamers on the experimental beta fire from... Princess Daystar's uh, Pirate Heroes mod. That thing freaking cooks. Now that is a freestyle barbecue right there. Now that... <laughs> it's on my Void Reaver save. If you look back at my previous couple Mech Warrior 5 streams, you'll see... You, I think I used it in one of those, but yeah. It's uh... You're giving Donnie an erection. Jeez. Yeah, let's go out on this patrol here. Yeah, freestyle barbecue. I don't know, Donnie, you want to... Download Clan Invasion and uh, Pirate Heroes and uh, pilot the beta fire one day. And pilot the beta fire.
Repeat, you do patrol to an F point in Survey's area. Be sure to destroy anything hostile you came across. Good luck. Is one bright fucking sunset. Yes, no artillery camera shake is the best quality of life mod I think I've ever had. It's so good because it also gets rid of the orbital cannon shake as well. It, oh my god, it's. I used to avoid beachhead missions just because of that artillery shake. Right? It was so annoying, it gave me a fucking headache. Every time I played that mission. Oh, that's a lot of lasers. Oh, let someone play Flight of the Valkyries. Trust me, you pick it up and you will not forget it. That's the one mod I, I think everybody should have. You know, I'm all up for playing your own way, and I'm very anti-backseating, but trust me, that's one thats one mod you, you fucking definitely want. Oh my god, we're losing components! <laughs> Are you good, bro? <laughs> bro, relax! You ejected, you're fine! Calm down! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh, the poor Clint. Oh. Enemy destroyed. Target acquired. I don't think he's good. <laughs> God. Bro! Oh my god, alright, well, I guess we're not finishing this mission. Jesus Christ. Ah! Oh. I think scary tanks also alters VTOL HP, which I don't know why. It's scary tanks. Stick to tanks. If you want to alter VTOLs, make a scary VTOLs mod. Ah! God damn. I wonder if I can change that in the mod options. We do not have the uh, resources to go on any type of rescue mission. I am sorry. Good luck to you. VTOL HP scaling. Get the fucking... Get, get the fucking... Why? If you're gonna do that, make a separate VTOL mod. God, I hate it when people do that. Stay in your goddamn lane, scary tanks. Fuck. I'm reloading after that one, man. I think I deserve a reload after that. That is... I am... Mm, I, I really hate it when mods do that. When they go out of their fucking lane like that. It's like, dude, you're called Starry Tanks. Stick the tanks. Mm. Angry jet noises. Angry, angy, angy jet noises. Oh, God. 
God, dude, I'm gonna have to spend, like, another million C-bills to fix the engine. Um. Alright, see you later, Data King. Yeah, I'm honestly just gonna... I'm gonna spool up the old time machine and pretend that didn't happen. Um. Oh, that was just mission after mission. Damn it, I guess we're not. Never mind. I, d I don't know when that is, so I guess we just have to sell that. We have to, uh, we have to sell that. And it looks like we're going shopping. Glad to join the company, Commander. Thanks for the opportunity, Commander. Commander join the company, the company. You or your company keep them right in the gondola. And we're going shopping, apparently. Shit. Yeah, I... No, it's actually Scary Tanks that does it. Because I have Scary Tanks installed, because the tanks aren't actually that scary in Scary Tanks, I've noticed. But they scaled the VTOLs. They scaled the VTOLs in Scary Tanks, and it overrides yet another mech lab, but it's like, it's Scary Tanks. If you're gonna alter, if you, you want to alter VTOLs, make a Scary VTOLs mod. You know? Know what I mean? Like... Mmm, I, mmm, Ingy. I am Ingy Jet. I'm so fucking salty about that, you have no idea. <sighs> yeah. Because Scary Tanks, I've noticed, isn't actually that bad. It's probably because I'm using yet another mech lab and clan invasion, right? But I've noticed Scary Tanks ain't actually that scary. And it actually adds a few interesting tank variants as well. So, I don't mind that part. It's the fact that it... Hmm. <clears throat> You know, I want to buy Mex. I don't want to sell Mex. I don't know. Maybe I just do a bunch of recon missions, but. <laughs> you, you, uh, you saw that one, huh? You saw that one. <laughs> okay, uh... Hmm. Okay, let's get this javelin. It's a lot of money, but I want at least three mechs. All right. Three mechs is all it takes. Yeah, those... That was... Alright, Clan Pharaoh does work. Alrighty. Uh, I don't have any case, so that is... Oh boy. How'd you get so many streak SRM2s tier 5? Because I think this is a chassis added by the clan invasion. I think mean, that's why. It just came with these. 
<laughs> Definitely beef up those uh those legs there. Oh, hang on a minute. Aha! Nice. Perfect 30. I was not expecting to be able to do that. Okay, I am actually giving you a double heat sink kit and then giving you some double heat sinks. As well as a pirate double heat sink, because why the fuck not? So these are going in there, and then that one's going in there. Alrighty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of cheaty, but oh well. And we have three mechs now. We should at least maybe be able to do, I don't know, like a battleground or something. Like a battleground or two. Definitely not a beachhead defense. Maybe a war zone. I don't know. But yeah, I'd say that was cool. God, hang on, let's watch this again. Fuck it. That's one that's one mod you you fucking definitely want. Oh my god, we're losing components. <laughs> he said it like what, four times? Are you good, bro? <laughs> bro relax. That's four times. That is four your He said Calm four times. He said that four times. Jesus Christ. Bruh. It's going to affect visibility okay. and sensors. Oh. This is burnout. Alright, I'm gonna use the street javelin. And you can I guess use that you can use that. I don't know. I mean, I hope this is enough. <laughs> oh my god. Also, I don't know if you heard it at but when you left last time, but with beachhead defense, I can g the, there's like constant hazard pay without any hazards and getting like plus 100 uh plus 100% negotiation uh stuff so I can get like over a million C bills and over like 20 plus uh, plus salvage shares with just two points. Is that is that planned or is that? Hang on. Uh, weapon groups. La di da di da. Now I can now now I can punch with my mouse. I don't have to reach up. Because the mission's tough. Fair, it is very tough. Okay, now, now they're like... Well, it's not necessarily OP. I was just wondering. You know? Okay, now I think the uh, the VTOLs are dying too quickly. Maybe that's why the Leopard's... Nah, impossible to kill. <laughs> Maybe now the leopards will like die in a single laser. <laughs> oh. that took care of him. If that's really gonna cause that much of an issue, then maybe I'll uh. Maybe I'll remove scary tanks or something. I mean, it's just that the tanks are like. The tanks are so bland in vanilla, and scary tanks isn't actually that scary, and it kind of adds new variants, and it's kind of cool, actually. Oh, Jesus. Target is down. 
You know what? Those fuckers deserve to be on zero one. God, the fucking merry go round with the missiles. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Great snapshot. Recon reports a uh, don't blame me, these these missiles are auto tracking. Damn, it's so foggy. Target acquired. Fuel at 25%. Gotta be careful when cutting through alleyways in these mega cities. You never know what's explosive. Target acquired. Kill quarter has been reached, Commander. Rendezvous with us at the extraction point when you're ready. All right, see you later, Nightmare. Thanks for my hanging out. I'm probably gonna call it here in like another within the next half hour or something too. It's okay, Scary Tanks adds VTOLs with like PPCs and Goss Rifles. Ow, Goss Rifles like that. I just wish it wouldn't, god damn, ah, mess with the HP. Tanks. <laughs> Tanks. Yep. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I do miss my Flea 19. That was added with the... I don't have a... Yet another Mech Lab Mechs anymore. Because it causes issues. I miss me flea nineteen. Uh, there was something I was thinking about doing. Oh right, yeah, the uh, options mod option. Should I make a joke mod that does something amazing, but then takes the liberty to screw up everything about the game? Just as long as it's not a permanent screw up. So I'm gonna want like 0.1% for like no change, right? 
So that would just be 100% HP, right? I have no idea. Like, what would it do, though? <laughs> Makes all pipes in the game non-explosive. But, gravity is reduced by, like, 300%. Actually, I have a code to randomly and silently delete a mech from your inventory. What? <laughs> Say psych right now. Ch -ch -ch I don't know, you said, uh, the, the, weren't you talking of, about, like, being able to... It's not in my mission mod. Were you talking about, like, being able to cock block people from your mod if you know their, like, Steam name or something, or Epic name? Mind the weather, Commander. It'll compromise your visibility. So it's like if they piss you off enough, you can just like fucking hacker man's their way and like not let them play or something. I don't know how that would work, but. Clan Invasion showed me how basically I can block people by Steam and Epic ID or do certain code only to those people. And only you have a special mech. Make me a special version, and I'm the only one with this version that adds Morris. <laughs> Give me special code that adds Morris to, like, patrol or something. <laughs> Because it's an inside joke between me and you. Nobody else will get it, right? <laughs> so just give Morris to me. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Link up with them and hold off the enemy advance as long as possible. Be sure not to overextend yourself, Commander. Eventually, you will need to fall back to the evac point. Okay, I feel sick. I'm gonna take off. What, did my Morris comment ruin the mood? <laughs> Alright, fam, have a good night. I'm probably gonna be clocking off here soon as well. Target acquired. I have an update video I gotta go record today as well. Target 
Destroy. Bad food, oof. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Additional tangos en route to your position, Commander. Target acquired. Okay, that definitely feels more uh, typical to VTOL HP. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. Target is down. Destroyed. Target acquired. Recon reports additional forces entering the engagement area, Commander. Be on the lookout for them. Target acquired. Destroyed. Target 
destroyed. Target acquired. Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. Alrighty. <clears throat> I ain't gonna bother sticking around. I'm going to be calling it here for the day. That was a pleasantly surprising five hour Mech Warrior 5 stream, but I got to go and get a update video recorded for next semester of university starting up in a couple days. So I need to go get that sooner rather than later. So thank you all for watching. Thanks again, Data King, for the. Uh, with a raid and all the new followers and all that from said raid and I'll uh see you guys next time. <laughs>